You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Well, good evening to you. We continue this half hour with the excitement building for skiers and snowboarders looking to hit the slopes for the holiday weekend. As resorts are preparing for the holiday rush and all the fun traditions that come right along with it. ABC4's Jonathan May reports on that. Something's in the air, especially around Christmas time. For Brian, this tradition of Santa's all skiing at once goes back years. It's called the Santa Run, where the first 200 people in line dressed up as St. Nick from toe to toe ski for free on Christmas Day. The extra motivation to ride for free and people chasing what they call to be the greatest snow on earth is why resorts may see some more skiers. We're on vacation day. We're from North Carolina, so uh, we it's nice to come out west to have actual good skiing instead of the ice on the East Coast. Grinding rails, enjoying vacation, and taking advantage of the extra time off. Got to get my runs in for the, for the break, yeah. yeah. I woke up ready to smile. Skiers are smiling at solitude as the holidays is their time to get away. It's just a good way to kind of kick off my vacation, sliding down snow. And as the skiers and snowboarders slide down snow, some say it's better with your friends. It's, it's better for shredding, it's better for the homies, it's better all around. And just in time for Christmas and the holiday rush, a ski shuttle is opening to help people adventuring into the big Conwood canyons. It's called Conwood Connect. It takes people to Alta, Brighton, Snowbird, and Solitude if they are worried about parking, traffic, and the weather. If you don't have a vehicle that has, you know, proper contraction devices like snow tires, especially you should be using one of these services. The shuttle costs $20 round trip and runs from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's pickup locations at several different hotels in Sandy. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.